children in this video we will learn about patterns made from blocks and design banno monkey was walking in the market when chanda saw her oh wow banno your sari is so beautiful thank you chanda i designed this sari myself can you make such a beautiful sari for me too yes why not I'll make a sari with a beautiful design for you tomorrow itself. Banno said and returned to her house. Banno returned home and started designing a sari for Chanda. Banno has a block of this design. She first dipped her block in a box of color and made an impression on the sari using her block in this way. She then made a second impression by dipping the block in the box of color again this time rotating the block a quarter in the clockwise direction Banno continued to make the design on Chanda sari in this way by every time dipping the block in the box of color and rotating it a quarter from the previous impression Children If Banno has made this design so far by rotating the block by a quarter in the clockwise direction every time can you choose the next impression of the pattern made by Banno from these options If you wish to you may stop the video and think of the answer Because Banno rotates the block a quarter in the clockwise direction Every time to create this pattern to make the next impression we have to rotate this impression by a quarter in the clockwise direction in this way among these options this option will be the next impression Banno made a beautiful design in this way on Chanda sari and the next day she gave that sari to chanda chanda liked that sari very much the very next day she went shopping in the market wearing that sari everyone liked chanda sari in the market banno has designed this sari for me chanda said then what was to happen Banno got orders to make a lot of sarees the next day. Children, if Banno has made such a design on one of the sarees, can you find the rule of this pattern? If you wish to, you may stop the video and think of the answer. If we look closely, we will find that this impression has been made by rotating the previous impression by half in the clockwise direction in order to create this pattern banno has rotated the block of the design by half in the clockwise direction each time sarees made by banno became very famous throughout the village and banno also opened her own sari shop in a very short span of time children in this video we learned about patterns made from blocks and design in the next video we will learn more about it through some interesting examples Hello children in the previous video we learned about patterns made from blocks and designs in this video we will learn more about it through some interesting examples uncle hired kitu in his shop for a few days to make clothes of new designs but kitu was very lazy and left unfinished designs So after a few days uncle asked Kittu not to come for the job. 
Now uncle himself is busy trying to complete those incomplete designs. First, uncle took the shirt of this design. What role has it to use to make this pattern? Thought uncle. Children, can you help uncle recognize the rule of this pattern made by Kittu? If you wish to, you can find the solution by stopping the video. If we look closely, we will find that this impression is made by rotating its previous impression three quarters in the anti-clockwise direction. In the same way, the impression made after it is made by rotating this impression three quarters in the anti-clockwise direction. Oh, wow! You found the rule! To make this pattern, Kittu has rotated the previous impression three quarters in the anti-clockwise direction or one quarter in the clockwise direction every time. Uncle too, like you, found the rule of this pattern and completed the design made on this shirt. Children, can you now help uncle find the rules of patterns made on this skirt and the dupatta? Find the solution for this with your friends. In the pattern on the skirt, the design is being rotated by half in the clockwise direction every time. And in the pattern made on the dupatta, the design is being rotated by a quarter in the anti-clockwise direction or three-fourths in the clockwise direction every time. Uncle also found the rules of those incomplete patterns and completed those patterns. All the villagers are liking the new pattern clothes sold at Chacha's shop a lot. Children, in this video, we learned more about patterns made from blocks and designs through some interesting examples. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes related to this. Children, in the previous video, we learned more about patterns made from blocks and designs through some interesting examples. In this video, we will see some common mistakes related to this. Banno's Sari's shop is going very well. Every day, seeing Banno making designs on so many saris, Babban thought, why not give Banno a little help? Mapanji, I will write the rules of the pattern you need to make on the saris on a piece of paper for you. You only need to use these blocks and make the designs according to that rule. Banno told Babban. Babban has to make the design using this block according to this rule on the first sari. Make the design by rotating this block by a quarter anti-clockwise every time. Babban read the instructions written by Banno. This is so easy, thought Babban and quickly made this design using the block on the first sari. Babanji, you made the wrong design. Banno told Babban. Poor Babban could not understand what mistake he made while creating the design. Children, can you tell by looking at Banno's instructions and Babban's design what is the mistake that Babban made while making the design? 
If you wish to, you may stop the video and find the answer. Actually, as per the instructions written by Banno, Babban had to rotate the block by a quarter in the anti-clockwise direction every time. But Babban got confused between the clockwise and anti-clockwise directions and accidentally made the pattern on the sari by rotating the block by a quarter in the clockwise direction every time. Children, remember, whenever you want to know the clockwise direction, look at the direction of the movement of the needles in a clock. Banno explained Babban's mistake to him. Then, Babban helped Banno create designs on a lot of saris without making any further mistake. Children, in this video, we saw some common mistakes related to patterns made from blocks and design. Hello children! In this video, we will learn about patterns with geometric shapes. Seeing the pattern of Banno's saris becoming famous, Uncle thought, why not make a pattern on his desk too? Uncle created such a pattern using geometric shapes on his round table. Golu came to buy the table at Uncle's shop and he liked the table very much. Golu immediately bought the table from Uncle. Golu returns to his house thinking, How did Uncle make this pattern? I don't know the rules for it. Then Chanda came to Golu's house. Wow, Golu, this table is so beautiful. Chanda told Golu. Yes, but I do not understand the rule of this pattern. Can you tell what rule uncle has used to make the pattern on this table? It is very easy. Look, Golu. First, uncle has made a circle and a triangle inside it. Then, when uncle has made the next mark, then the outside triangle has been drawn and inside is a circle. Then, in the third mark, uncle has repeated the first mark again. In this pattern, every time uncle used the rule to draw the inside shape outside the previous mark and the outside shape inside the next mark. Good! Now I understand. Golu said to Chanda. Come on, Golu. I also want to buy a beautiful pattern table for myself from uncle's shop. Chanda told Golu and both reached uncle's shop. Chanda liked this pattern table at uncle's shop. Children, can you tell which rule the uncle has used to make this table pattern? If you want, you can stop the video and think about the answer. To make this pattern, each time uncle made the inside of the previous mark as the outermost of the next mark and then made the remaining two shapes in that shape inside this shape according to the order made in the previous mark. By repeating this rule again and again, uncle has patterned his table. Chanda bought that table from uncle and happily returned to her home. Children, in this video we learned about patterns made from geometric shapes. In the next video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Hello children, in the previous video, 
we learnt about patterns made from geometric shapes. In this video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Plastic is causing a lot of pollution in Champapur. Therefore, all the villagers have decided not to use plastic. Gaggu wondered if he could sell patterned cloth bags made of geometric shapes at his shop. Gaggu made the first pattern in this way on a cloth bag. The villagers liked the bags of this pattern very much. But Bunny finds this pattern incomplete. If I carry this pattern further, this bag will look more beautiful. Thinking that, Bunny bought a bag of this pattern from Gagu and returned to his house. What rules has Gagu used to make this pattern? Bunny is thinking. Children, can you help Bunny find the rule of this pattern? If you want, you can find a solution by stopping the video. Here, Gagu has made this small triangle made in the previous mark in the next corner of the big triangle in the children direction. In this way, every time Gagu made this pattern by making this small triangle clockwise in the next corner of the big triangle. Like you, Bunny also found the rule of this pattern and completed the pattern on the bag. The next day, when Bunny went to Gagu's shop, he noticed that Gagu is now selling bags of this new pattern. Children, can you find the rule of this pattern and complete it? Stop the video and find a solution quickly. Here, each time Gagu has made this pattern by rotating this rectangle a quarter in the clockwise direction. When Gagu saw the bag completed by Bunny, he liked it very much. And then both Gagu and Bunny started making more beautiful bags together. Children, in this video, we learnt more about patterns made from geometric shapes by some interesting examples. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes related to this. Hello children! In the previous video, we learned more about patterns made from geometric shapes by some interesting examples. In this video, we will see some fun facts related to this. Raju, Bablu and Golu are playing a unique game. Golu will show a pattern and Raju and Bablu must find the rule of that pattern and complete that pattern. Raju and Bablu started thinking. Look Golu, I completed your pattern. Raju said to Golu. I too have finished your pattern Golu. Bablu said to Golu. Okay Raju, first you tell me how did you make this pattern? Golu asked Raju. I made this pattern by rotating the block a quarter of a time in clockwise direction. Raju told Golu. <laughs> you have made it in the wrong way. I have made this pattern by rotating the block three times in a counterclockwise direction each time to make this pattern. Bablu told Raju. Raju and Bablu started quarrelling. They both feel that the rule which they found is correct. Don't fight, don't fight friends. You both found the right rule. 
it is exactly one quarter in the clockwise direction and three quarters in the anti-clockwise direction. Both of you have found the correct rule. Golu said to Raju and Bablu. Raju and Bablu understood what Golu said and the three friends started playing together. Children, in this video we saw some fun facts related to patterns made from geometric shapes. Hello children! In this video, we will learn about number patterns. One day, there was a sudden electricity failure in Champapur. All the villagers tried hard to get the electricity connected, but no one understood the reason for the power cut. It was night and darkness spread throughout the village. Then, the villagers saw such a star on the banyan tree of the village. There are some numbers written on this star and there are some empty spaces too, said Barbole uncle. But what could these numbers mean uncle? Babban asked the uncle. It looks like some kind of number pattern. Look here, it is written on the top. Fill the empty spaces of the star with numbers between 1 to 12 such that the sum of the numbers written on any side of the star is 24. Let's all try to fill these empty spaces together. Uncle told all the villagers. Look uncle, on this edge there are two numbers, 12 and 8 are already written. If we add these two numbers, the answer will be 20. Now, the total addition of this edge should be 24. This means that in these two spaces, we have to write numbers whose sum is 20 less than 24 or 4. We can write 4 by adding 1 to 3 and by adding 2 to 2. But when adding 2 to 2, the number is being repeated. That is why we will write numbers 1 and 3 in the empty spaces of this edge. On saying this, Bablu wrote the numbers 1 and 3 in the empty spaces of this edge. All the villagers got very excited. Now, everyone started trying to fill in the blanks written on the star. Children, can you also fill in the blanks of this star together with the villagers? If you wish to, you may stop the video and find a solution with your friends. Well done children! You have found the answer correctly. We can fill in the blanks of the star in this way. As soon as the villagers filled the blanks of the star, light started coming out from the star and the electricity of the village resumed. All the villagers got excited and started dancing happily. Children, in this video we learned about number patterns. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of this. Hello children! In the previous video, we learned about number patterns. 
In this video, we will see some more interesting examples of this. Golu has bought a new toy from the market today. He is very excited to play with it. But the toy is very special. You have to solve the math puzzle on it to make it work. The puzzle written on the toy looks like this. Golu tried hard to solve it, but he could not find a solution. Finally, he thought of taking help from his friend Sher Khan. Sher Khan, I bought this toy from the market, but to run it, I have to solve a math puzzle written on it. If you can help me solve it, we can both play with this toy together. Golu told Sher Khan, Okay, let's try to solve this. There are many numbers written here and there is only one blank space in the middle. Look Gulu, first we will look at these numbers. There is number 2 written on one end of this line and 100 written on the other end. And on this line there is number 4 written on one end and 200 written on the other end. And the blank space is common between these two lines. If we use the addition and subtraction process, we cannot find any number that can be written in the common blank space of these two lines. Sher Khan told Golu. Maybe we need a number to be written in the blank space in such a way that the number written in the blank space and the rest of the numbers are related to each other by a rule. Sher Khan told Golu. So, what shall we do now? Golu got sad and asked Sher Khan. Look Golu, if I divide the number 100 by 2, the answer will be 50. And even when I divide the number 200 by 4, the answer will still be 50. Sher Khan said excitedly to Golu. Yes, and even if we divide 600 by 12, the answer is still 50. And finally, if we divide 400 by 8, the answer is still 50. <laughs> oh wow, we got the rule of this puzzle. That means we have to write 50 in this blank space. Golu told Sher Khan. Sher Khan quickly wrote 50 in that space. As soon as Sher Khan filled the blank, the toy started working and began to spin round and round. Both Sher Khan and Golu started cheering. Children, can you fill in the blanks of this toy according to the rules of the puzzle that Golu and Sher Khan solved? If you wish to, you may stop the video and find a solution with your friends. There is a smaller number at one end of each line and a larger number at the other end. To find the smaller number for each line, we have to divide the larger number of that line by 31. And to find the larger number, multiply the smaller number of that line by 31. In this way, we can fill all the blanks. Well done children, your answer is absolutely correct. Children, in this video, we saw some more interesting examples of number patterns. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of this. Hello children, in the previous video, we saw some more interesting examples of number patterns. In this video, we will see some more interesting examples of this. There is a huge river between Champapur and Bechupur. Many villagers go to buy and sell goods 
from Champapur to Bechupur. Suddenly one day, the bridge between the two villages broke. All the villagers got very worried. For several days, no means were available to travel between the two villages. Then one day, suddenly the villagers saw that a magical bridge automatically started getting built over the river. The villagers got very excited. There was something special about that bridge. A number was written on every one of its planks. But suddenly the bridge stopped building further and a question mark appeared on the last plank of the bridge. All the villagers got absorbed in thinking about what could this mean. Look, there is a number written on every plank of this bridge. There will definitely be a rule between these numbers. Bola told the villagers. One is written on the first plank of this bridge. Four is written on the second plank. Nine on the third plank and sixteen on the fourth plank. We can write one like this as one times one. We can write four as two times two. Nine as three times three and sixteen can be written like this as four times four. This means that the number written on the plank can be found by multiplying the number of the plank by itself. Chanda excitedly told the villagers. That would mean the number written on this fifth plank would be 5 times 5, 25. Saying this, Babban immediately wrote 25 on the fifth plank. As soon as Babban wrote the number, the next plank of the bridge got added to the bridge. Now, all the villagers started finding the numbers of the next planks. Children, can you also find the numbers of these four remaining planks of the bridge? If you wish to, you can stop the video and find the solution. Yes, the remaining four planks of the bridge will be numbered 6 times 6, 36. 7 times 7, 49. 8 times 8, 64. And 9 times 9, 81. The villagers also together wrote these numbers on the bridge. And finally, the bridge between Champapur and Bechupur was completed. All the villagers started dancing happily. Children, in this video, we saw some more interesting examples of number patterns. Hello kids, in this video, we will see some unique magic of numbers. A unique bird is seen roaming around in Champapur. According to the villagers, this bird can fulfill any of your wishes. But anyone who sees this bird has to solve a math puzzle to get his wish fulfilled. Tufan was moving towards its pond. Then the magical bird called him. Tufan! I can fulfill your wish, but you have to solve one of my maths puzzles first. I am ready, Tufan said excitedly. Okay, listen to my puzzle carefully. I have thought of a number and you have to find that number by using some hint. Are you ready? The bird said to Tufan. Tufan immediately took a pen and paper saying, I am all set. The number I have thought of is more than half of 50. It is more than two tenths and less 
then three tens. The sum of the digits of the numbers is eleven. Now tell me, which number am I thinking of? Tufan wrote down all the hints of the bird on a paper like this, and then began to solve each one of them. The number is more than half of fifty. Half of fifty will be twenty-five. This means this number is greater than twenty-five. According to another hint, this number is more than two tens and less than. Three tens. That means this number is more than twenty-five and less than thirty. According to the third sign, the sum of the digits of this number is eleven. Let me first write the numbers between twenty-five and thirty. Then I only have to that numbers whose sum of the digits is eleven. Then. I only have to find that number whose sum of the digits is eleven. By saying that, Tufan started to write the numbers twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine. Well, out of these, only twenty-nine is the number whose sum is eleven. This means that the number you thought about is twenty-nine. Tufan excitedly told the bird, "Your answer is absolutely right." Tufan, tell me what you want. The bird asked Tufan, "I need a new hat. I feel hot." Tufan said to the bird, as Tufan conveyed his desire to the bird. A beautiful new cap fell on its head. Then the bird flew away. Tufan started dancing with joy. Children, now can you find out number from these hints? If you want, you can find a solution along with your friends by pausing this video. Well done. Your answer is absolutely correct. This number is 13. Children, in this video we saw some unique magic of numbers. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples. Hello kids. In the last video, we saw some unique magic of numbers. In this video, we shall see some more interesting examples. There is a huge crowd around Sher Khan in the classroom today. Let's see what Sher Khan is doing. Guys, I'll show you magic. Sher Khan is telling the rest of the children. Raju, Bablu and Golu, the three of you think of any number. As soon as Sher Khan said that, Raju thought of this number. Bablu thought of this number and Golu thought of this number. Now, multiply your number by 4. Sher Khan told the three children The three children quickly multiplied their numbers by 4 in this way. Now, divide your answer by 2. Sher Khan explains the process and the three friends quickly do it. Now, multiply your answer once again by 4 and then divide that answer by 2. Sher Khan said The three friends multiplied their answer by 4 in this way and then divided the received answer by 2. Now, add your original number to your answer. Sher Khan said, "The three friends added the initially thought number to their answer. 
just as Sher Khan had said. Now, if you divide your answer by 5, then you will get your originally thought number in the answer. <laughs> Sher Khan said excitedly. The three friends divided their answer by 5 and could not believe their eyes. Sher Khan's magic is really amazing. They finally found the number they had initially thought about. All the children started cheering and clapping loudly. Kids, would you like to see another of my magic in maths too? Oh wow! So let's quickly think of a number. Do you have a number? Now, multiply this number by 4. Did you get the answer? Well done! Now, multiply this answer by 5. Oh wow! You did this very quickly! Now divide your answer by 2. Is your calculation complete? Very well! Now, at the end, if you divide your answer by 10, you will find your previously thought number only. Isn't this some interesting magic of mathematics? Children, in this video, we saw some more interesting examples of the unique magic of numbers. We will see more interesting examples of this in the next video. In the previous video, we saw some more interesting examples of the unique magic of numbers. In this video, we will see more interesting examples. Raju and Bablu reached a unique cave while walking. Look, how shiny the walls of this cave are, Raju. Let us find out what is on the other side of the cave. Bablu said to Raju. Raju and Bablu went further inside the cave. Then they saw a door there. Bablu, this door has closed the path ahead of the cave. And there are some multiplications written on this door. And then there are some blank spaces at the bottom. Raju told Bablu. Yes, Raju. Look, it looks like a number pattern. Let us try to find its sequence. Bablu told Raju. See, Bablu, every time a new digit is added to the number that is multiplied by 9. And it is one more than its previous digit. Yes, Raju. And have you seen one more thing? The number of ones in the answer is exactly equal to the number with which it is added. Raju, we seem to have found the rule of this number pattern. Let us fill these spaces according to this rule. Children, can you also fill in the blanks of this number pattern with Raju and Bablu? If you want, you can find a solution by pausing the video. Raju and Bablu filled in the blanks of the number pattern written on the wall of the cave. As he filled in the blanks, that cave door opened. Raju and Bablu got excited and went inside the cave. There, they found another door on which this number pattern is written. Raju and Bablu began to find the rule of this number pattern. Children, can you also find the rule of this number pattern and fill in its blanks? Find an answer together with your friends by pausing the video. Every time the number being multiplied by 8 is written as increasing number of digits. It is also the number being added after multiplication. 
and in the answer the digits are written in a decreasing order matching the length of the number being added after multiplication according to this rule we can fill in the blanks of this number pattern in this way just like you Raju and Bablu filled in the blanks of this number pattern and the door opened. After passing through the door, Raju and Bablu reached a unique world of fruits. Children, in this video, we saw some more interesting examples of unique magic of numbers.